Tell me about how you got involved with this film. I came across this story which was this particular guy was able to kill for 25 years well over 100 women and probably 500 women have disappeared between the 1980s and 2010 when he was arrested, not all by him. But it was like, you could imagine if two women disappeared in Beverly Hills, the whole place would be closed down and they would find out who... I mean, the fact that this could happen for 25 years, I, I kind of thought, well, somebody must have known something and how come nothing happened? Because the guy was actually arrested by, completely by accident in the end, by a computer. The DNA on a computer got him arrested. It wasn't some amazing, intrepid detective work. So I thought this is an amazing story, you know, and that's how I came into it. I'm glad that the film is getting some attention and that Nick Broomfield cared enough about the story and about our community to be able to make this film because I founded the Black Coalition Fighting Back Serial Murders in 1984. And I could tell you there is not a lot of interest on the part of law enforcement, city officials, or even the media at the time. So it took a British filmmaker to come over and, and do this story. And Pam and the other women in the film are so brave uh, for speaking out. But this story is not over. Yeah. There are a lot of lives that are still not accounted for, and we intend to continue to press for justice and for accountability.